Biodiversity Introduction If you look around you, you may get to see several different kinds of plants and animals. Let's take the example of your neighbourhood garden or park. A typical neighbourhood park may be home to a variety of flowers, each different in size, shape, colour and smell. The kind of trees found here could range from big trees to small bushes. You may also have a variety of animals visiting this park. Forests are home to a diverse variety of plants and type of plants and animals found in a forest depends on the soil and climatic conditions of the region. The existence of a diverse variety of plants, animals and other living forms is known as biodiversity. Biodiversity Terms Let us learn some of the terms associated with biodiversity. Species A species refers to a group or class of animals or plants having certain common and permanent characteristics that clearly distinguish it from other groups. Habitat The natural surroundings of a plant or animal species, where it grows, multiplies and thrives naturally, are called its habitat. Flora and fauna The numerous species of plants living in their natural surroundings, habitat, are termed as the flora of the place and the animal species constitute the fauna. Together, the flora and fauna of a place form the biodiversity of a place. Conservation of biodiversity The importance of forests and wildlife are listed on the screen. Loss of biodiversity Some of the major causes of loss of biodiversity are as follows. Increase in human population and use of land for agricultural and urban development has led to a large-scale destruction of forests and river flood plains. Pollution of air, water and land adversely affects many plants and animals. Climatic changes due to natural and human-made reasons have also forced species to adapt to the changing environment. Killing of animals for their meat, skin and other body parts. Natural disasters such as earthquakes, floods, droughts, cyclones and hurricanes also contribute to the reduction of plant and animal species in many areas. Extinct and threatened species Extinct species Many species die and disappear from Earth if they are not able to reproduce and adapt to climate changes or are unable to compete with other organisms. Such species, which cannot be found in the areas where they once lived or in any other habitat, are called extinct species. Threatened species In the red list, all species listed under the categories critically endangered, vulnerable, and endangered are together described as threatened species. Endangered species Species that are at a high risk of getting extinct in their habitat are also called endangered species. Few of the animals listed in the red list are black rhino, blue whale, African elephant, sea turtle, Indian rhinoceros, Bengal tiger, Asian Elephant Steps of Conservation Forest reserves have been established with an aim of serving the following purposes Prevention of deforestation Replenishment of lost forest cover by afforestation Protection of food and shelter meant for wildlife Poaching Even though steps are being taken for protection of animals some people still hunt and kill animals sometimes for fur and sometimes to earn money by selling the killed animals. Illegal hunting of animals is called poaching. Organized poaching by antisocial elements threatens extinction of a number of species, especially those which have valuable body parts. These include body parts valued as ornaments. Examples include 
elephants for ivory and turtles for shells. Body parts used in traditional medicine. Examples include the rhinoceros for horns and tigers for bones, for fur and hides. Animals killed for their hides include deer and cattle for leather, alligators and snakes for their skins, and wild cats, minks and bears for fur. Zoological Parks To ensure that animals are properly cared for in a zoo, it is important to take good care of the zoo in the first place. Usually, a zoo has a very well-structured administration staff which aims to look after the health and growth of the wild animals living there. Zoos provide the best medical health possible to the animals. This is why it is expensive to run zoos. Many zoos get funds from national and international bodies. Botanical Gardens To conserve rare plants and threatened ones, botanical gardens have been established. Forest reserves aim at protecting natural habitats, but botanical gardens are the zoos of the plant world. Most botanical gardens also serve as seed banks and have reserves of seeds of several species of plants which are preserved under controlled conditions. Endemic species Plant and animal species confined to specific geographic areas are called endemic species. The mountainous region of southwest China is the giant panda's only natural home. The great Indian bustard, endemic to India and Pakistan, has been classified as endangered because of its small, declining population. India contains globally important populations of some of Asia's rarest animals. Species endemic to India are listed in the table below. Asiatic Lion Asiatic lion are mostly found in the Gir National Park in Gujarat. Lion-tailed macaw The lion-tailed macaw is found in southwest India. It gets its name from its tail, which is approximately 25 centimeters in length and has a black tuft at the end similar to a lion's tail. Nilgiri Thar The Nilgiri Thar is endemic to the Nilgiri Hills and the southern portion of the Western Ghats range in Tamil Nadu and Kerala. Migration Movement of animals in large numbers from one place to another to overcome unfavorable conditions is called migration. Migration often provides the migrating species with more favorable conditions of temperature, food or water. For instance, beasts of cold and temperate regions are known to migrate to warmer areas during winter. Migration provides a suitable place for reproduction which may not be available in their native place. For example, the salmon migrates from salt water to fresh water to lay eggs and comes back, while freshwater eels go to salt water from fresh water to lay eggs.